Hello and welcome to another Dr. Cinema Diagnosis, Diagnosis, where where we look at a movie a little bit more in depth in certain parts to figure out what the issue or figure out what's so great about it. And for this film, we're going to go with 2017 movie Ghost in the Shell, and we're going to try and figure out if this is the yeah, I know we started Johansson's Bob, but that's not that figure. Gosh! There's Quatch. He's got a Sasquatch thing for Scarlett Johansson. But anyway, is this 2017 Ghost in the Shell movie starring Scarlett Johansson the first good Hollywood movie based on an anime? Well, let's take a look at the original Ghost in the Shell anime movie from the early... Was it early 90s or was it late 80s? It was, yeah, it was early 90s because it was an influence on the Matrix movie. And in, the, in that movie, the designs the designs were pretty much like the same as in Engulfing in the World with nice designs. But in the remake with Scarlett Johansson, of course, it's just it's a little bit more unique, a little bit more stylish, more color to it. The one in the original is more similar to a city scene like either the movie Dark City or in the movie The Matrix. So with this remake, there was a little more originality, a little bit more color to it. And as far as the actual casting of Major, there was the controversy of whitewashing. And technically, I guess this is whitewashing, but the creator of the of Ghost in the Shell, thought that Scarlett Johansson was a good pick for the role of Major, and so if the creator is fine with it, then I suppose we should all give it a try, and to her credit, as far as playing the role of like a person turn uh, full on robot, I guess, I mean, they're called shells, the bodies are called shells, but I'm not sure. Is it cyborg, robot, but anyway, as far as like a human turned machine who still has like human emotions and like some and thinking patterns, it's still pretty. She still does a decent job, in my opinion. And I think one other change that people took note of was the fact that her friend, the big tall guy with the white hair, who later in the remake gets eyes because who it gets robot eyes because. There was an explosion, but apparently the originally always had them, and this one he got them after the explosion, and he was hesitant about getting them, and I thought that was a fine enough change. And the villain is apparently in the remake. This villain is a cross between two different villains that appeared in the original anime movie show and manga, and I still think that was like a nice connection, like a connection to Major's past, and as you feel further down the line of of figuring out like that this big company like took lots of runaways and and just ter experiment experimented on them against their will and and they used the villain as, as like a past friend of major before she became major as she is now and I thought that was a nice connection but here's the real question though is this a good anime based movie Hollywood created? I want to go with yes. I mean, the story, it's a little bit generic, but it keeps you well engaged. It gets you a little bit invested. Like, you won't figure out, like, what actually happened. Like, you're cur it keeps your curiosity. It keeps your attention. And it, it doesn't get too generic. I mean, I mean, the visuals are spectacular. Like, it's a spectacular, visually-looking movie. But I guess, like, the big main change of this story is that this story, it's more like person against corporation. Like, corporations are bad. Where in the original anime movie, it was... It was, like, a terrorist with, like, different, like, countries. Like, world politics kind of thing. And I think that story would be a little bit too confusing for a first person hearing this for the first time. So I thought like the story change was well enough for a more Western uh, mainstream audience. But, but like I said, the story is a little bit generic, but not too much. It keeps your curiosity. You want to know what's going on. You 
you like the main character enough, you have a general dislike of like the villains, and it's a visually spectacular looking piece. So, yeah, this is the first good Hollywood movie based on anime. I want to take time to give a shout out to Ben Mayer, who liked the Dr. Cinema Facebook page as part of the Dr. Cinema's Patients Facebook group, and it's also a subscriber to this channel who suggested I take a look at Ghost in the Shell and give my thoughts on it and my diagnosis. So, so if you want to see more like fan suggested things, please subscribe, comment, leave suggestions, share, get my name out there if you're if you like what I do, you want me to get better as the series goes on. And my diagnosis, like I said before, Ghost in the Shell 2017. Good, not particularly great, but enjoyable and worth watching. And I will see you next time.